The choking game was popular on YouTube several years ago. Columbia Public School students did it then, and a new group of students are doing it now. District officials sent an email to parents warning them about the choking game. They recently had several reports of the game being played by elementary and middle school students. The students use a noose or their hands to choke themselves or each other to get a feeling of euphoria. This is not something that is new this year, um, but it is certainly we've seen an uptick this year in, in students participating and hearing about it. And so we want to be as proactive as possible and make sure that our families know that this is not something that is a game and it's very serious and we do not want our students participating in this type of activity. School officials want parents to talk to their child or children about the seriousness of the choking game and how dangerous it is. They want parents to encourage students to tell an adult or report it to the school if they see or hear anyone talking about or participating in the choking game. Because there had been multiple incidents in multiple buildings that it was important for us to share some of our concerns with all of our families. School officials also want parents to take time to talk to students about what they should and should not be accessing online. In Columbia, Mark Slavitt, KRCG 13.